Are you going to try to save your lawn? Is there something I can help you with, Patel? You just can't get it green, can you? It looks fine. I'm just trying to help it out, that's all. Not like mine. Mine looks a little better, don't you think? Hmm. You know, I was on the internet last night. Do you ever go on the internet? Why would you ask such a stupid question? Anyways, I was on the internet and I decided just for fun to search my name. When I did, all these little websites popped up. Patel, 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 Patel this, Patel that. And then I decided to put in your name. Nothing. I mean, just nothing. Zero results found, it says. It was almost as if you didn't exist. Very interesting to me. Just fascinating. Absolutely incredible. Ah. <laughs> uh. You get married? Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck you. All right. Here you are. Salisbury steak, dinner is served. Is it the proper temperature? Always. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We gotta make a new rule about sitting on the couch with just that shit on. It ain't right. I'm sorry, what shit are you referring to? That shit. Oh, my bad, your highness. Is there anything I can get you before I sit on my own couch in my own house? Look at this, watch this. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, this feels right to me. This is real good to me, yeah. Don't forget that you're living underneath my roof, all right? I mean, you can't even get the goddamn lawn green. Ah, uh, it's just common courtesy. Excuse me. Did you follow the instructions? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. Oh, really? Because the potatoes aren't fluffy, the corn is hard, and this steak is cold. Look, I followed the instructions exactly what it said on the back of the box. Oh, really? Did you cut a slit over the potatoes? Did you stir the potatoes? Did you rotate it 90 degrees? You can't rotate it 90 degrees. You guys have the spinning plate in the microwave. It rotates by itself. <laughs> vertically. Wait, what? <laughs> you rotate it vertically, dumbass. Hmm. How do you rotate something vertically? Like this. Uh, oh. <laughs> Not gonna pour it out, idiot. Okay? All I ask is you cook a Salisbury steak to perfection every night. Well, look, if you don't want me to make it, then I won't anymore. You won't? You have to. Because you signed the lease. I don't remember it being in the lease. I thought I was just doing it out of courtesy. Oh, did you read? The least? Of course I did. What difference does it make? It's an act of kindness. Had you have read the lease agreement, then you'd realize that not cooking these meals to perfection is a violation of the lease. Ah, oh, there it is. 532B. 532B. Salisbury steak will be cooked to perfection every night what? by said tenant. Hell yeah. That's you. Oh, also, complaining about the way the people in this house, i.e. me, look, dress, decide to wear clothing, is a violation of said lease. Here it is. He said it, and I had it right here because it's in section 422C. 422C. That's right. It says, no things should be said that are shitty about the clothing that is worn by the people who live in the home that is under said authority. It's not very well worded, but it's but it, it, airtight. It's okay, you know what? Why don't why, point. listen? Why don't I just make you something else then? I'll make you something oh, else. Oh no 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 no! Put down, put down the Salisbury stick because you can't make shit. You've tried before, failure every time. No 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 no! I recall one time I made you macaroni and cheese, and you actually liked it. <laughs> oh. oh. Is that what that was? That was mac and cheese. Is that what it, I thought it was shit. eating a baby jellyfish Holy because it shit. tasted like shit. Okay. You'd, you didn't have the proper ratio of butter to milk, first of all. Mm. Secondly, you couldn't splurge a nickel to get the name brand kind. So, no thank you, sir, if that's what's on the table. Well, then why don't I make you ramen noodles? <gasps> oh! <laughs> what are, we, are we royalty now? You're gonna make us ramen? Oh, hello, I'll have some ramen and some tea. Oh, yes, why don't I bite into this brick of 
noodles, man. It sucks. Love you. you suck, man. Fuck it then. Why don't you make your own meals? Attitude. Whoa. Oh, brother, we've got Jeez. some attitude, huh? Hey, there's got to be something about attitude in the lease. Let's isn't check there? it. Oh, there it is. A great big section marks attitude. It looks like it might result in expulsion from the premises. <gasps> he means eviction. Fine, God, I'll make your damn Salisbury steak to your specifications. And I won't say a damn thing about your attire. Thank you. Was that so hard, huh? Because obedience is the ingredients for success. Okay? okay. If I, I just have to. Yeah, yeah, I, you go. Get you the door. go ahead. Oh. You go get the door. My man, Jerome. Good to see you, brother. What's this urgent situation you need to talk to me about? Uh, come in. We need to talk. All right. We need to talk? About what? Not here. I want to take this all the way through to the committee. It's that important. What the hell is going on here? What's up, Captain? The committee? You mean you want to take... Yeah, I do. You want to take it all the way to the NAACP? It's that serious. Very well, then. Very well. To the boardroom. Order! Order! We hereby bring this meeting to order. I need everybody to pipe down. Let's keep it down. Let's keep it down in the back there, folks. I just want to make sure that the entire black community of Utah is in attendance. Is this really necessary? It helps to set the ambiance. Just say here. 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 And the president of the Salt Lake City chapter of the NAACP, me, is also here. Without further ado, one of our members approached me on this fine evening and told me of a dire situation of which he'd like to discuss. Jesus Christ. can we just get on with it? And let's delay this on the pothole. Watch it, Bono. This is the president that you're speaking to. Don't you forget that, the president. So, board member Jerome. Would you please present your dilemma to the distinguished members of the NAACP? And I haven't heard about that pothole yet. Procedural. Okay, so I was leaving the theater yesterday. And uh, what believe... theater? The one we've done some plays at, the Midvale Theater. Okay, go on. So I was leaving the theater yesterday, and you uh, couldn't uh, believe... Why were you at the theater yesterday? Let, you let me finish the story? Hey, I'm the president. I can chime in whenever I want to, motherfucker. It doesn't matter why I was there. The point I'm trying to get to is that as I was walking out of the front doors, I saw the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. Huh? A woman. God damn, motherfucker. You dragged the entire black community down to a meeting because you saw a woman? You must be out of your damn mind. Yeah, you're wasting our time, Jerome. A black woman. Did you just say what I think you did? Here, in Utah. A black woman. There hasn't been a black woman in Utah for years. What does she look like? Is she beautiful? My ticket out. What does that mean? Nothing. Is she single? I'm not sure, but I did some asking around and she moved here by herself, so I assume she is. And she's got some cousins who are thinking about coming out here if she likes it. Well, I'll just head down there and see if she'd like to join me for a cup of tea. Whoa, Hold on, whoa, Lucky whoa. Charm, sit your ass down. You gonna run in there and fuck it up for everybody. We got to think this thing through. What exactly are we thinking through? Well, if we're talking about dating her, and I think that we are, who gets to date her is the question. Obviously me. Why obviously you? I was the first one to suggest taking her out for a cup of tea. So what? So I should be the one who gets to date her. Get the fuck out of here. I was the first one that told you about her. I'm the only one in this room who's actually even seen her. If anyone should date her, it should be me. We don't even know who she likes yet. How can we figure out who she's gonna date if we don't even know who she likes? Well, I think we should develop a plan, all right? We can't just go down there and just start willy-nilly asking her out. Exactly. See, that's what I'm talking about. Where's this girl from? I think she's from Iowa. Why? I'm just trying to gauge her black level. I was a swing state. She may or may not have grown up around black folks. The only way we can know for sure is if we go down and have a face to face and find out. But, like you said, the worst thing we can do is panic and run down there half cocked. We'll go down there, assess the situation. If it looks good, we proceed. I say we all go right now. Not everyone. No, 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 no. Uh, we don't want to make her uncomfortable, all right? It might be like a black overload or something. Lord knows how long she's been here. We gotta ease her into the blackness. Mm -hmm. Jerome's right. We don't wanna go mobbing up in there like a pack of crips. She may have never been around that many black folks in one place at one time. So for now, I say only the African Americans go at this point. Just to survey the situation. I agree. Oh, no, you don't. No, 
I've got just as good a chance as either of you to get this girl. I'm not gonna let you strong arm me out of the chance of the last of my dreams. The lass? The lass? Look, I'm doing you a huge favor, Phil. Look at you, looking like Abbott and Costello upstairs. You might start talking about leprechauns or some shit. I cannot chance you fucking this up. Now, she has cousins or maybe even sisters. Now, if we get them out here, we can all benefit. This is a win-win situation. You just gotta lay back and let me and Jerome do all the legwork. What Kevin is trying to say is that it's more likely that she's gonna go for the African-American brothers. No offense, just keeping it real. Thank you, couldn't have said it better myself. But how do you know? How do you know she's not attracted to foreign men with accents? Oh, Jamaican, maybe. French, maybe. African, probably. But Irish? <laughs> Even white people no. don't like the Irish accent. You gotta be the first brother I've met from Ireland. Are there even any more brothers out there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us one other. He hailed from Dublin and was in a small band by the name of Thin Lizzy. The greatest rock band of all time. Twas the lead singer, Phil Linnet. As black as the ace of spades, I tell ya. Well, kinda. Maybe not quite as dark, but next to the white Irish he was. The boys are back in tone was their big hit. I was named after him. I still remember the sweet aroma of Guinness, Jameson whiskey, and four-leaf clovers as they dance in the air of downtown Dublin as the boys are back in tone came bubbling through the speakers of every car that passed. And the darkest day of all came. It was a crisp, cold January morn in 1986. I was shuffling down the road when a young girl ran up and yelled, Then Lizzie's dead! Then Lizzie's dead! The dark reality began to sink in. Phil Lennett had overdosed and I was the last black man in Dublin. It was good news and bad. It was good because someday I could be the black fantasy of every Irish housewife. It was bad because those fantasies never materialized. Oh, how the tears began to flow from my eyes. I raced home hard to pound and eyes aglow. I ran to the front door and when I got All right, right motherfucker, you can come. You ain't gonna tell us your life story and shit. Damn, Jerome, you didn't mention how good she looks. Say we go talk to her. About what? About Dayton. Yeah, but why are we here? We have to have a reason as to why we're here. What if she asks? What are we gonna say? We came down here to stalk you and see which one you want to date? Well, what were you here for earlier, Jerome? I was talking to Tammy Ross about doing Othello here. There's our end. If she asks, we'll say we're here to talk to Tammy about being in the play. We should buy something. Why? Well, if we're following up with Tammy, then why are we gonna talk to her at the concession stand? You've got a point. No, it doesn't. We're just being friendly, introducing ourselves. It still doesn't make sense. I'm the president. The final command is we ain't buying shit. And I'm the vice president, and I advise we buy something. Well, I'm the secretary of state, and technically it's a tactical decision, which is my jurisdiction. Therefore, the president says no. Now, come on, y'all. Let's just go over there. Well, hello, Leah. I'm Kevin, and these are my friends, Phil and Jerome. Hi. Nice to meet you guys. Are you guys here to see Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat Matinee Show? Of course not. We're actually here to follow up with Tammy about being in an upcoming play, Othello. We're actors. Well, they're actors. I'm a model. Part-time, at least. But mainly, I'm the distinguished president of the Salt Lake City Can we City get you of your finest candy bars? A small popcorn and a diet soda, please. Sure. Thank you. I don't think Tammy's here today. I haven't seen her all day. She said that she was going to take the day off so she can spend time with her daughter. Well, yeah, we, we just realized that. Sucks to come all this way, you know. Are we any closer on those snacks? <laughs> sure, I'll get that for you. What did I say? No snacks. You can't override the president. Oh my gosh. Are you guys black people? I mean, not to be rude, I'm just really curious. This is gonna go before the committee. Blatant, flagrant, outrageous, egregious abuse. All right. Here you are. Let me grab those candy bars for you. All right, that'll be $27.50. Such a bargain. <laughs> Is that all? Here's your snacks, Bill. Oh, the pleasure's all yours. I insist. When you insist, you pay. Not in Ireland. 
Please, the pleasure's all yours. I believe it's an international Here, customer. Here, I'll pay, I insist. Thanks. Drum, right? Yeah. You have a cute smile, Drum. Yeah, he does have a cute smile, doesn't he? Where are you from, Leah? From Iowa. Hmm. Any black folks out there in Iowa? <laughs> of course. More than they're out here. I'm from Des Moines. Sorry, are you guys almost done? Because I'd love to get a picture with you guys, so that's okay. We should get going. Hey, oh, oh, what's the rush? What's the rush? So, you got any family out here? Married? No, I don't have any family out here. And I'm single. I uh, actually came out here to go to school. My cousins are thinking about moving out here, though. They're kind of getting tired of Iowa, so I told them how beautiful it was out here. Are these cousins women? Yes. Why do you ask, Kevin? You're so quiet, Jerome. Oh, it was nice meeting you. It was nice. Uh, we usually like to give new people a tour of the city. I think Jerome would jump at the chance of giving you a tour of the city, wouldn't you, Jerome? Sounds like fun. How stupid of me. I'd like to take you on a tour. I mean, if you'd like me to take you on a tour, do you want me to take you on a tour? Uh, you can call me. I, I'll call you if you'd like, or I can email you if that's better. Why that don't you just ask her for her number, Jerome? Wouldn't that be easier? <laughs> That'd be great, if you don't mind. Of course she doesn't mind. She only minded if the person she was giving it to was acting like a total freak while he was asking. I don't mind. You seem like a wonderful guy. I'd love to spend some time with you. OK. Great. So maybe I'll call you soon. Or maybe I'll call you um, sometime. I mean, maybe I'll you just take you. the number. Thank you. I'll uh, program this into my phone as soon as I get home. Picture? Picture, guys? Very quickly, we're on a tight schedule. Okay. <laughs> this is the best day ever. <laughs> what the fuck was that shit? We were like Chester the molester up in that motherfucker. Ain't you ever hit on a female before? If you're our only hope, we are in trouble. That's all I can say. We are in trouble. I can't talk to women like you can, all right? I get nervous. It's like I know what I want to say, but then as soon as I see them, I get scared. Or I get scared that they're judging me or laughing at me inwardly. Well, in that situation, they probably are. You got everything going for yourself. You dress nice, you're nice looking, you got a nice car. You kind of got your own place. You got everything going for yourself except for maybe, look, you gotta stop thinking about what you don't have when you go up to a woman and start thinking about what you do have and turn it around on them and start making them think about what they ain't got. That's easy for you to say. Look at you, you're a model. Women go crazy for you all the time. Well, yeah, but look, that's not the point. Even I have problems. I haven't had a modeling gig in four months, but that's my only problem. A sagging economy that sees no need to hire a much needed black model. A black model who can shine and stand out like no white model can. Who can ignite the urban flair of the city with brilliance. A black model who can step up and shine and just glow Oh my god, like Kevin, please! But I do need your help if I'm gonna date her. You're right. And dating black women is much more different than dating white women. What do you mean? Well, none of us have really dated a black woman before. Especially one who's grown up around black people. And what was that you were saying about her being your ticket out? She may be my ticket out of that godforsaking living situation. It was supposed to be temporary, and I'd been there for two years. Two years, and I can't live with you in that cramped up studio apartment now, can I? Well, that's for sure. Here's what you can do. Start dating her, she'll like it out here, she'll tell her cousins. When her cousins move out here, I can date one of them, she'll fall in love with me, I'll move in with her, and live happily ever after. Ah, so essentially, you're looking for a woman to use. Not use, not use! Utilize, there's a huge difference. There's got to be someone who holds down a steady job while I pursue the passion of my life, modeling. Why should I work some shitty day job when someone else could work it and enjoy it while having a loving, caring, committed relationship with me? All right. Can I say something? What? I noticed you've been scratching your balls a little bit more excessively than usual. <laughs> oh, you're serious? Yeah, I've noticed you've been scratching your balls quite a bit lately. Wait, wait. Well, why do we have to talk about this now? Why do you have to pull over to talk about it? And, and you've been noticing that I've been scratching my balls more frequently? Have you been monitoring my ball scratching habits? Hey, I am not the enemy, homie. Have you been checked for crabs? I don't have crabs. You have to have sex with someone to have crabs.
Okay, this is just a different kind of itch. Like jock itch? No, it's not like jock itch. Jock itch is more encompassing. This is more centralized to the ball area. Let's change the subject. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Do you condition your balls? Do I condition my balls? Do you condition your balls? It's a simple question. <sighs> condition them for what? No, no, no. When you shampoo your balls, do you condition them afterwards? You, you do shampoo your balls, right? Phil, you shampoo your balls, right? Every day. Sometimes twice a day. I don't feel comfortable talking about this with you two. Think, Jerome. Do you condition your balls? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, I condition my balls. Is it a leave-in conditioner? No, I just switched to a two-in-one. But you used a leave-in conditioner before. Oh my god, this is crazy. Yes, I used a leave-in conditioner before. Therein lies the problem. How is that my problem? Your balls are dry, Jerome. You used a leave-in conditioner before, then you switched to a two-in-one, you starved them of their nutrients. Killing them. Here's what you need to do. Get yourself a high-end shampoo and a leave-in conditioner. Use the shampoo. Then take the conditioner, slather it all over slather your balls. That shit. Oh, slather, huh? Slather it all over your balls. Leave it in no less than 17 and a half minutes. When you're done, rinse and repeat once, just once. Rinse your balls. Pat your balls down. Get yourself some intensive lotion. Intensive lotion. Slather that lotion all over your balls as well. Wait for it to soak in, wait for those nutrients to gather, and then you're done. Ball itch gone. Problem solved. Are you done? I'm looking out for you, Jerome. What are you gonna do if you go out on a date with Leah and start rampantly scratching your balls throughout the evening? Pocket pool ain't gonna cut it. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to get in there and rumble around, and if you do, lights out for Leah and her cousins. Man, why don't you just date her? Why is this all of a sudden all on me? Oh, come on, man. You saw how she was looking at you and acting around you. We gotta start thinking about our best options right now, and that option is you. So you're saying I should just date her and everything will work out? Oh, hell no. We gotta make a plan, brother. Just like we plan to go down the theater, we gotta plan this date out together. To the boardroom. Nails. That's the best thing we can come up with, nails. Black men? Oh, that's a good one. I was just about to suggest that. We've all been around black women at some point. What kind of places do they like to eat? What kind of dates do they like to go on? I think you're making it more complicated than it is. She's a woman. They all like the same uh, thing. Cram it, Shamrocks. I just thought of something. We're not going to get anywhere with this shit. Maybe the best bet right now is that we bring in an expert. Someone who has some kind of experience with this type of thing. A dating expert? An expert at dating black women. I might know where we can find someone. Who is this, Phil? Scott Schwartz. He's a family friend of mine. And? You don't recognize him? No, I don't. He was in a movie, uh, A Christmas Story. Once again, and? He was in another movie with, with Jamie Gleason. Jackie Gleason. Jackie. Jackie Gleason. But here's the kicker. Richard Pryor was in that film as well. Who's Richard Pryor? Who's Richard Pryor? The Godfather? You don't know? You guys need more help than I thought. So what if you worked with Richard Pryor? How is this going to help us? He could give us insight into the black mind. He was like six. No, he was 13. Phil, we need some actual ideas, helpful ideas. Check out my new book. This is going to help your game immensely, bring it up many, many levels. I'm curious. What insight into the black mind did Richard Pryor give you? Um, well, he was really funny. And, um... And, and, uh, he used that comb with the three-pronged, the, the pick. We're getting nowhere. Actually, um, I had another experience with another black guy. And, uh, Too Short. You know Too Short, the rapper guy? Yo, biatch! <laughs> that guy. I'm out in the yard all by myself with a ton of stuck. And they're in the school. They just left my ass out. They turned all the lights off. The guy, I'm like, what's up? And the guy's like, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because he's in the car and he's laughing. And I'm out there all by myself, just flailing away. They turn the lights off, the cameras off, everybody left the room. And I'm like, you guys are shitting me. So you were sitting next to him? Uh, not actually next to him. I was at the same table. Well, she's shaking it a little bit, so I say, come on, get on stage with me. And she starts really, really working it, like bouncing that ass like never seen before, <laughs> some bounce out in the middle of the Bible Belt shit. And I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm saying, I'm, I stop my show and say, where the fuck did you learn to do this shit? You know what she says? From her mama. So you were at the table with Too Short? Uh, 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 yeah, sort of. I mean, I was kind of a few feet away. So, so what happened? 
So I'm telling you, man, it's too short over there. So what? He's probably here on business. Leave him alone. Oh, yeah, business. Oh, yeah, with the two hoes over there. Whoa. Right. Yeah. What? Yo, Biatch! What? Yo, Biatch! What the fuck did you just say? What the fuck is this clown? Shit! Hey, yo, kick his bitch ass, man. Yo, yo. And where might be the point where this helps us? Well, should you ever run into Too Short, absolutely, positively, don't walk up to him and go, Yo, biatch! That'll help you out. Scott, don't take this the wrong way. But will you kindly get the fuck out of my boardroom, oh, please? Kevin, show some manners. But yeah, Scott, if you could just get the hell out. If you want me to read your silly book, I will. Just leave it on the table. Take a look at it. Sure. Oh, and tell your mom to call me mom. No problem. You got it. You know what? I think I might know someone. Who? My cousin Tony used to talk about this guy who was really good at dating black sisters. Had a really interesting name, too. What was his name? Uh, Pepper Palmer. Pepper Palmer? Ooh, I like the sound of that already. Where does he live? I think they said it was from Cleveland, but he lives in Vegas now. Oh, yeah. Cleveland? You got to get him out here as soon as possible. You can tell him we can pay a flat fee for his services. I'll call Tony tonight. Nice. So I meet this girl at a bar for gentlemen, right? Right. And I walk up to her and I says, hey, how about you go to dinner with me? Of course she would. And yes, she said, sure. So, hey, Jerome, I'm gonna need you to pepper that tonight, all right? Yeah, why can't you do it? Um, because I'm in the middle of the story and I need to keep track of where I am. How many shakes and where? That's a great question. Uh, what do you say for the potatoes, Tom? Three peppers. All right, three peppers on the potatoes, two on the corn, and five on the steak. No, 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 man. Five and a half at least. All right, five and a half on the steak. Gotcha. All right. So, we're in my car, right? We're heading to this restaurant. Mm -hmm, Before right. we even get out, uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm salting the dish. You said three, you said three, and then five and a half on the, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> you have to salt it after I taste it. All right. Let's go salt and shit. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Two more salts on the potatoes, three on the corn, and two and a half on the steak. What are you, the fucking rain man? Hey. Whoa. Don't get all high fluting, okay? Relax, dude. Jeez. I, I would have done it myself, but somebody. Oh was four minutes and 37 seconds late with my dinner. All right, so we're in the car outside the restaurant. Right. right? And I leaned to, over to her mm -hmm. and I said, what size boobs you got? Nice. Hmm? And you would have thought I farted or something because it just got really weird and I don't know what happened. And dude, did I do something wrong? No, hell no. You gotta get those dimensions going into it. I mean, you gotta know what you're working with, right? That's exactly what I was thinking. So, we're in the restaurant, and, and she starts to order appetizers, main course, dessert, and soda. Good Lord, what, is she pregnant? You gotta be shitting me. Yeah, she was just sitting there eating my money, just Jeez. devouring it right in front of me. I hate her already, I don't even know who she is. I fucking hate her. Mm-hmm. Anyway, afterwards, she's just blabbing on and on about all of her dreams and everything. Okay. And after she's just eaten my $100, and so I, I get straight to the point and I say, look, are you going to give me oral sex or what? Nice, dude. And what'd she say? Nothing. She just started to get out. God. She got right out of there and I said, hey, Jeez. hey, hey, hold on. I can do a hand job. Yeah, right. Nothing. Nothing. nothing she huh? left. Well, fuck you. It's a hard life. Let's have a couple blowjobs. Wait, wait. You asked a woman that you went out with on a first date for a blowjob. Uh, yeah. And don't even try to tell me you wouldn't love to have a blowjob on a first date. Man, of course I would. Especially if I paid for that shit. But I wouldn't ask for it. What the fuck you're, are you talking about? You're crazy, Jerome. You're crazy, man. You, you double cray. Jeez. Showtime. Hey. Hey, what's up, oh. man? Is he here yet? Yeah, they just pulled in right behind me, I think. 
Well, we should sit in with Rob and Tom so we don't look like a bunch of clowns waiting for him. No, I'm not sitting in with them. Well, well, wait, they? What do you mean they? And why don't you want to sit in with them? Well, he brought some kind of sidekick with him. And I'm not sitting in with those two because they remind me of someone I used to know back in high school. What's up? Hey, What's up? sidekick? We already paid Pepper. We don't want to pay another sidekick. And who do they remind you of that you used to know? Tom? Reminds me of this coach I used to have back in high school. He ran detention after school with his mistress and his mean ass fucking brother. <clears throat> hey! No talking. Reading. That's what you're doing. I wasn't talking, I was just a cough. Are you back sassing me, son? I wasn't back sassing you, I was just telling you I was a cough. Are you testing my authority? I'm not testing your authority at all. I was just reading a book. Cough. You're still back sassing me. Billy, come bring the problem paddle. You can't use those anymore. It's like 1996. Put huh? out your hand. You're gonna put out my put hand. Put out your hand. Oh, Hit him Jesus. again. Oh. Don't let him comfort himself. Jesus. Oh. That's why I don't like those guys. That and all the ass matter that's on that couch. Mm. Oh shit, here they come. Oh, okay. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, big money? Good, good, good. 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 Yeah. How, how you doing? Yeah. Good, chill. I'm chill. Good. 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 What's up? 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 There is way too much black guy shit going on in here. So why don't you and Cool and the gang take it downstairs? I'm so glad y'all could take the time out of your busy schedules to come help us out. Pepper, I hear you have a good track record with dating black women. <laughs> Oh, he ain't Pepper Pong. I'm Pepper Pong. And my friends call me PP. Y'all don't call me PP. This is my assistant, Ricky Pablo Escobar Iglesias Martin. I just call his big ass Ray Ray. You're Pepper Palmer? Jerome, I thought you said he was black. I didn't say he was black. I said he was good at dating black sisters. <laughs> but you do have some black in you, don't you? I got a little of that on my mama's side. One drop in there somewhere. One drop off. It looks like he's from Puerto Rico. He doesn't look Puerto Rican at all. I think so. Or uh, maybe Peru? Man, y'all acquire my services based upon my looks or based upon the quality of my results. Look at here. The Pepper Palmer way. Now, you only need to know one thing. If you tired of getting salt every day, go the Pepper way. <laughs> yeah, I like that shit. Someone write that shit down. I got you, boss. Uh, pencil or ballpoint? Oh, ballpoint. That shit for sure. Matter of fact, everything from here on out is ballpoint. Ballpoint is final. And final is the Pepper Palmer way. You only have to do something once and do it correctly and you will succeed. There's only three things you need to know from here on out. So, if you gotta ask me any questions, do that shit later. Cause I ain't finna go back and repeat myself. Excuse me, what, what, what do you mean by accent finna? Do you mean like take an ax to someone? Finna, what, what is finna? That sounds like, is that American? It sounds like a drink. <laughs> Don't be wasting Pepper Palmer's time. It is my most valuable resource. As I assume it is one of yours. Rule number one. Don't cross Pepper Palmer. Rule number two, don't cross Pepper Pong. Rule number three, don't never let me catch your ass crossing Pepper Pong. Rule number four, don't fuck with my car. I think I'd like a refund now. Nah, just hear him out, Kevin. Uh, look, look, this is bullshit. <laughs> Excuse me? This is bullshit. Look, you come into my boardroom, you have my friend slapped, you start ordering us around like some fucking drill sergeant. This is bullshit, man. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. What is it you guys are trying to get here? You are trying to obtain a black woman. Black woman. Not talk to one. Not have intimate carnal knowledge for a fee. I'm talking about a long-term mutual relationship with a black woman. Now, y'all better know what you're getting yourselves into, because if you don't, I can tell you right now, y'all in for some serious trouble. Now, has anybody else in this entire room, outside of me and Ray Ray, ever even dated 
a black woman. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, pardon me, Kevin, but you did acquire my services, did you not? Yeah, thinking that it wasn't gonna be anything like this. <laughs> if you ain't never paid for something you ain't never paid for, expect to see some shit you ain't never seen. Because we got off on such a sour note, let me emphasize some of the more positive points that your purchase has enabled you to possibly acquire. I don't necessarily focus on one race of woman. I focus on dating techniques to increase one's game. However, I can hone my skills to accentuate your current position. Ray Ray, did you get that shit? I got it, boss. Matter of fact, put parentheses around that last seven sentences. I might use that in future presentations. Let me start by saying that there is a skill to love, gentlemen. And apparently, it is a skill none of y'all motherfuckers got. Thus, that's why I am the fuck here. Now, maybe you went on some dates in the past, threw some money around, thought that's how you were gonna get a woman. Yeah. Well, apparently that shit didn't work, did it? I'm gonna tell you only one thing you need to know from here on out. If it ain't the Peppa Palmer way, shit just don't work. What can the Peppa Palmer way do for you? That is a wonderful question. I'm glad that you asked. Let us compile a list of the wonderful ways my program can influence your life. Pepper Palmer Way will increase blowjob frequency. Yeah, that's right. Number two, decrease your oral sex obligations. Number three, win every fight. Number four, Never let her argue with your ass ever again. Number five. Get her to pay your bail in case of extenuating circumstances. And number six. And this one's the best of all, y'all. Just get her to fucking love your dumb ass. I think the first point was a seller. I'd like a refund now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all brothers. <laughs> All sales are final. Ain't no motherfucking refund. Ah. We'll be back here tomorrow night at six o'clock sharp. Bring writing utensils and paper. Be ready to take fastidious notes. Ooh, I like that word, Ray Ray. Remind me to use it in more appreciative company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you one thing. We gonna get that girl. That I can tell you for sure. No way am I gonna work with that fucking parasite. It seems like a man that can get things done to me. He's a jive-ass, wannabe, black, sleazy street hustler. He thinks we can get this girl with head games and pimpery. Yeah, maybe, but he knows more about dating black women than we do. Bill knows more about dating black women than he does. Hell, fucking Rob and Tom upstairs probably know more. He ain't even black, he's like Guatemalan or some shit. You know what, Kevin? I usually just agree with you and go along for the sake of not arguing, but not this time. When I first saw Leah in that theater, it was like all my dreams had come true in a flash. I saw my destiny, man, and I'm not gonna let you talk me out of this one. You stuttered and stumbled the whole time. You wouldn't even have a date with her if it weren't for me. That's exactly why we need him. I don't want to fuck this up. He's going to fuck it up anyways. All you got to do is sit back and watch him burn that shit to the ground. Look, why don't we just reconsider interracial dating? It seems a lot less stressful. I just want a loving, committed relationship with someone who understands me and cares about me. And so do you, Kevin. You know you do. Deep down, you do. Just do one selfless thing in your life, please. Just one selfless thing. One fucking night, that's all. Just one night. And I'm doing this for the two of you and that's it. So let's have a brief review on some of the scenarios that we may incur while we're out on our different excursions. Scenario A. She briefly shows disinterest in you, or D6. I want you to convert that to a C12, belittle, or insult her ass. When you regain her attention, which you will, you swiftly move down to X7 which is your closing move. 
Moving on, scenario B. That is a crucial point, cause the N22, that's when you gonna get back to that G5. What the hell y'all wearing? V-necks, flip-flops, that ain't black, man. Black women's eyes detect style differently than white women's eyes. Bitch, you can get a J to the motherfucking A. That's what you gonna get. That's what you gonna get. I'm gonna get my head in. Bitch, you can't get shit. How you finna get a woman? You got dingleberries in the back. Yeah, write that shit down. Write that shit down. The back of your neck looks like you got a pack of hot dogs hanging out back there. Please, gentlemen, please, please have a seat. We still got a few more things to go over. This is how we heal, y'all. This is how we heal, y'all. Just like this. Y'all see how this works? That's right! And that... Whew. Hold on a second. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's how you get the women's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It, it's Leah. What do I do? Now, remember the rules. Be calm. Answer with confidence. Oh, what do I say? Do it! Hello? Hey, it's uh, Jerome. I, I met you the other day at the theater. How'd you get this number? <laughs> you called me a minute ago. I, I was just calling back. You must have butt dialed me because all I could hear was shuffling and some muffled voices. I am so sorry. <laughs> How silly of me. Yeah, hey, I, I was wondering... Hey, 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 you're breaking up. I, I can't hear you. Uh, I'm in a bad area. Oh, no, 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 no. I lost the call. Should I call her back? Nah, that seems desperate. Let her call you back. Well, now she just texted me. Should I text her back? Yeah. Wait. What'd it say? Sorry, my phone dropped the call. <laughs> well, obviously. I'm just gonna text her back. No, 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 no. This is the game, motherfucker. This is the game. This is a K7. Make her wait. Build attraction. How long? Just wait. Now nah, text it back. Wait, wait, what you gonna say? Uh, hey, this is Jerome. You looked nice the other day. Uh, I would hey, like to- No, 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 no. You already sound weak and submissive, man. It does kind of sound soft. Like a little girl. <laughs> nah, nah, say this, say this. Meet me at Botanica in about an hour for coffee. Will that work? <laughs> All right. What's she say? K, like the letter K. What is that, is that like black slang or something? You serious? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. I don't use, ever use the text feature on my phone, I only call. I don't know black, it means K, as in okay. <laughs> well, see, now I feel stupid. As you should. Well, at least we got a date tonight, boy. Wait a minute, I don't know if I'm ready. I I, I don't remember all the, the, the Pepper Palmer codes. Hey, shh, 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 shh. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got ourselves a plan. One black coffee, one hazelnut latte. Thank you. Testing, testing, one, two. You guys hear me okay? We can hear you just fine, Jerome. Now, listen to my voice. Stay calm. Make sure she can't see your earpiece, all right? If by any chance we lose communication, stand up and walk out on the date, you feel me? You better look a little weird and make her feel insecure than risk being yourself. Whatever you say, PP. Hey, I said don't be calling me PP. That's an invited name only. 
I don't remember extending you an invitation. Now look, here she come. Get ready. This is an A7. Don't be intimidated. Stand up straight. Well, wipe that smile off your face. Remember, you get women like this all the time. She's just another notch in your belt. I'll make her feel that. Make her sense that. But should I stand to greet her? No, hell no. Just relax. A7. A7. Page it's so good to see you. K-12, K-12! I don't remember what that is. And don't fucking shake her hand. Give her a hug. Take all that energy away from her. Get in control. B-4. No, wait. B-9. Have a seat. Yeah, B-9 that shit. Is everything okay? You seem a little preoccupied. Perfect, my brother. You got her right where you want her. Now, F-2, then I want you to circumvent to a G-27. What does circumvent mean? Excuse me? Don't say that shit out loud. Focus. I knew we should have done a dress rehearsal. Tell her you got her a coffee. I got you this coffee. It's a hazelnut latte. Sounds good, thanks. <laughs> Don't smile back. She's trying to get you to commit. So, what do you think about this dress? I was nervous about wearing it. I didn't know if this place was gonna be nice or not, so. Hopefully I'm not overdressed. She's trying to G7 your ass. She's fishing for a compliment. Do not indulge her. I repeat, do not indulge her. Tell her, tell her her dress looks goofy and you was trying to hold back some laughter when she walked in. I'm not gonna say that. Say it, Jerome. Remember, the goal is to keep her self-confidence at a manageable level. We need her right at the brink of getting a therapist or a gym membership. Well, this is getting awkward. Say it, motherfucker! You know what? Your dress does look a little goofy. I was trying to hold back my laughter when you walked in. Okay, on my count, I want you to say, just kidding. Ready? One, two, and three. Just kidding. J9 that ass. No. I said J9 that ass. Do it. Let's do it. Do it! You pussy motherfucker. You done blown this whole damn night. I think your dress looks great. It's been a really strange day. It's actually been a really strange couple of days. We'll start from the beginning. I'd love to hear about it. We lost communication. He ended communication. Why? We gonna find out. Well, well, well. How the hell did you guys get in here? The fuck happened to you tonight? <sighs> nothing? What you mean, nothing? We lost communication with you. You tore out your earpiece. I ordered a J9 and you backed out. Because it wasn't going to work. Excuse me? It wasn't gonna work. Mr. Palmer, we don't need your services anymore. Kevin was right. It was just a bunch of smoke and mirrors. Wait, you insulting me? What Jerome's trying to say is that we tried your services. They didn't work. Now could you please leave? <sighs> Listen here, you little pretty punk ass motherfucker. Hey! I don't know how you do it on this side of the Mason-Dixon line, but where I come from, Afton, Wyoming, we don't take kindly to men who put their hands all over other men. And tonight, I'm feeling real homesick. So get the hell out of my house, or I'm gonna show you why Wyoming is the murder capital of the nation for sheep. Remember them three rules. Don't cross Pepper Hum. There's gonna be a cross over Pepper Palmer's grave if he don't get the fuck out of my house.
Yeah, I remember that. Someone needs to keep the priorities fucking straight. Well, that was money well spent. On the bright side of things, how'd the rest of the day go, Jerome? You know what? I thought I was gonna fuck it up when I pulled that earpiece out, but I felt this overwhelming calm come over me when I did. I didn't feel that clammy, awkward feeling I usually do when I'm on a date. Everything just felt natural after that. See? Just like I said all along, you don't need anyone's help. Well, you're the one who told me to hire Pepper in the first place. You paid for it out of the NAACP donations. Who donates to us anyway? And mostly my mom. Your mom too. And Phil's family. They still send us Irish pounds. God bless their little third world hearts. <laughs> You've got to be out of your mind. Ireland's far from third world. Twas the first world. And it will always be, as long as we drive those Protestants out of Belfast and take back the land that was always ours. If we drive a stake through the heart of every Hold it of right there, train spotting. Train spotting was a Scottish film. It's the same kilt wearing bagpipe playing concept. Let's not make this all about you, Phil. Jerome, I want to hear about the rest of your date. Continue, please. We got something to eat, went for a walk downtown, and just talked about everything. And I felt so relaxed and at ease. It was amazing. Did you ask her about the cousins? Um, we didn't, uh, we didn't get around to it. You didn't get around to it? It's a one sentence question. I wasn't thinking about it. This isn't just about you, okay? We're both invested in this just as much as you. You need to take that into consideration. There was something else though. What? I don't know, I got this nagging feeling that that I wasn't black enough. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? I don't know. I got this nagging feeling in the back of my head that I was acting too white and it was a turnoff for her. You know, she's been around real black men, you know. Did she say something? No. Did she allude to anything? Not really. Anything I can remember. Well, she did say, wow, you really are from here. I mean, that could mean anything. I think you're overanalyzing the situation, Jerome. Did she say she didn't want to hang out again? No. But she said she did want to hang out again. Yeah. Great. There you go then. Stop worrying about the future and let's focus on the now. When's your next date? Well, she asked me to stop by work tomorrow night. Perfect. Perfect. Have you been using that conditioner and lotion we were talking about? You've decreased your ball scratching, that's all. I just noticed it. Your balls are happy, Jerome. Trust me. If they could leap out of your pants and give me a hug, I fucking promise you they would. Hello? We got a problem. What kind of problem? I'm here at the theater. And Pepper came by earlier and told Leah everything. Damn it. Okay, well then we need an emergency meeting as soon as possible. We gotta figure out a way to get her back. But let's meet at the house now then. I can't. I just took Rob and Tom to bankruptcy court. I gotta take them home when we're done. Oh my God. Pepper just walked in. Intercept him right away. Do not let him talk to her. I can't, she thinks I left. I'm hiding in the lobby. Robert Evans. I gotta go. Text me a play-by-play -play of everything that happens. Do whatever you can to stop him, you hear me? Who is Robert Evans? That would be me. You're filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy, is that correct? Yes, your trustiness. A simple yes would suffice. Yes. Your lawyer has explained to you the details of this filing? Yes, I have. My client is aware of all the consequences of this filing and has brought all the necessary paperwork. Very well. May I see the paperwork? Did you bring your bank statement for the last month? Yes, Tom. Shit! Sorry, sorry. Before I file any bankruptcy, I deem it necessary and appropriate to review the defendant's financial past so we can get an idea of their spending habits. See what purchases they made on their debit cards. Do you object to that? Well, I don't... Good. Let's begin, shall we? July 1st, 
9.26 a.m. Quick Stop Market, $7.38. I love donuts, the powdered kind, as well as the crumb kind. And I think I bought some soda and some rolling chips. July 1st, 12, 13 p.m., The Chicken Shack, $6.38. Wing Wednesday, they have this zesty July buffalo 1st, sauce. July 1st, 5.39 p.m., State Liquor Store, $13.22. Uh, I, for one, will not deny myself the right to a frosty one every now and then. This is America. July 1st, 10.27 p.m., The Booby Bungalow, $17.34. Uh, that's a gentleman's club. I believe that's what they're calling it. Um, I indulge every once in a while, which is completely legal once again. And I met this girl named Candy. July 2nd, 8.29 a.m. Quick stop market, $7.45. Oh, are you laughing? July 2nd, 12.16 p.m. Back to the chicken shack, $7.37. Oh. Finger Friday, they have these chicken fingers that, with this batter. You dip the, the two sauces together, oh my gosh. Oh, mix them. Ridiculous. July 2nd, 4.17 p.m., the Tobacco Palace, $14.28. Yeah, we bought a bong. And For tobacco, a tobacco. Uh, yes, uh, they have lots of different flavors, chocolate, mint, strawberry, which is incidentally Tom's favorite. July 2nd, 6.14 p.m., the State Liquor Store, $15.80. It was a Friday. I needed a July drink. July 2nd, 9.18 p.m., the Booby Bungalow, $22.19. It's that damn candy. I tried not to go back, but I just had to tell the manager she needs to be transferred to a different state. July 2nd, 10.22 p.m., the Booby Bungalow, $22.19. She had this hold on July 2nd, 10.45 p.m., the Booby Bungalow, $22.19. Oh, oh, well, you want to know what I said to the manager, huh? I said, this woman is a menace to the men of this city, and she should be sent away. Social activism. July 3rd, 12.36 AM, Jimmy's Bail Bonds, $300. Uh, the bouncers got me arrested. Apparently, I was being too touchy, which, I mean, let's get specific with definitions, but I'm glad the legal team is here because as far as what I know, violation. Too touchy. July 3rd, 2.36 a.m., a call from the Salt Lake County Jail to the Booby Bungalow for $12.37. I, I guess I felt it my right to let the manager know the pain which had been afflicted upon me because of this viper which he agreed to employ. July and 3rd, 8.32 a.m., the state liquor store, $12.32. It was my cousin's birthday, and I needed to pick up. Don't, Tom. I I had to dole the pain, everybody. Guilty. I mean, not guilty. Sue me. Don't sue me. <laughs> July 3rd, 2.17 PM, Lee's gas station, $20. There we go. Gas. Gas, everybody. Completely normal purchase. July 3rd, 7.12 PM, the booby bungalow, $22.19. <sighs> I wish I never met Candy. What the hell happened today? He got her, that's what happened. How do you know that? Did you hear their exact conversation? I saw him walk in, flirt with her, touch her all over her hands and shit, pull her out from behind the counter, and walk away with her. But who manned her station when she left? What? It doesn't mean that he got her. It just means that he talked to her. It doesn't mean anything. She told me he told her everything. The jig is up, man. Okay, well then let's just think of a new plan. Like what? I don't know. You're the brains of this operation. You tell me. It's over, man. She's done. We gotta chalk it up as a loss and move on. Now, there's gotta be something we can do. We gotta stop Pepper Palmer. Eliminate her options. It's the only way. How do you suppose we do that? Well, we're smart. Why don't we put our heads together? We can figure something out. I wish there was a photographer here right now to catch this pose. The light, the ambiance, the mood, it's perfect. Where the fuck is a photog when you need one? Well, you know what sounds wonderful right now? Irish stew, carrots, potatoes, bacon, especially bacon. Why the fuck does he get to be president? I can't believe I missed it by one vote. I got it. We play him against himself. I don't get it. 
We use his equations against him. We fuck him with his own formulas. Well, how do we do that? You'll see. He's gay. What? Pepper, he's gay. Really? He's gay? I think they call it an alternative lifestyle. He's a booty buffer. We call them sausage jockeys and donut punchers in Ireland. You guys, I'm really busy. I gotta get back to work. Leah, you don't wanna go out with this guy. He's trouble. Yeah, really? Well, at least he's not a liar. And he didn't have to hire someone to teach him how to go on a date, now did he? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna try not to figure that out. This is my roommate Jerome. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Jerome. Oh. I'm gonna need you to wash those ass covers. They're starting to mold. I want them for breeze fresh, and I want them smelling great like a summer's day. Fold it up in my fucking room. Okay, well, I can't today. I've got plans with the boys. Uh, <clears throat> at least. Fine, I'll do them later. Speaking of which, Jerome, what size briefs do you wear? I don't, I wear boxers. Well, if you did wear briefs, what size would they be? <sighs> Does this have a point? Well, you know, with all the civil rights and Martin X and all that, you can just never be sure which of these myths are true or not. You know what I mean. Nope, I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. Um, I wear larges. He wears extra larges, and you wear double X. How large are your... Are you trying to ask me in front of your brother and the judge from the other day, who I'm assuming is your girlfriend now... Guilty. If my dick is bigger because I'm black? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, shit, I would man. not have been what so crass. Hell, I would have said penis. But now that you bring it up, what do you... I don't have to answer that. And I know it's not in the lease. Thought I... It's not in there. Of course it is. It's under, um... Fuck, dude. Curses. All right. Well, I'll just have to imagine that. This is getting beyond creepy, you guys. What size is your junk? Hey, that's for me. Uh... I'm gonna go. Tom, I'll wash these later. Mm. I do not trust him. Why not? He looks like a black Walt Disney. Oh, yeah, he does. You know? Yeah, but I doubt anyone's gonna be riding the rides. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Sex. <laughs> Tom, get the innuendos? Mm hmm. She was saying some. Yeah, yeah, this is. Uh... I'm gonna go. Dude, you've eaten that whole thing hey, by yourself, God. man. Y'all wanna play games, huh? Yeah, I was about to walk away from the whole thing. I gotta find out y'all talking smack. You thought I was playing when I said don't cross Peppa Pump. Man, why don't you just leave and go back to wherever you're from? Your job here is done. What do you care about a couple of guys like us anyway? 
The locals seem to be taking quite a liking to Pepper. Especially that pretty little thing over at the local theater. Yeah, that's right. I think I might stick around town for a little while. It's quite a pretty little lawn you got over there. Maybe too pretty. Early bird gets the worm, huh? You really can't get it green, can you? I was cleaning out my garage this morning when I happened to stumble upon this. My master's degree in electrical engineering. Do you have a degree? I take it you don't. People with degrees don't live with perverted roommates. Hey, that means you're really good at electronics, right? Of course. I have a master's degree. Good, good. I may need your help. I've got this cousin who might want to do an experiment on his car. Sounds expensive. I can pay you. I can pay you a lot. And I don't have to be near you or talk to you during the process. Not at all. I'll just show you the car and you can do your thing. Well then, let's see this car. Hey, I'll pick you up tonight. It's at his place. What's up, Buttercup? What'd it be, sweet pea? Man. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no, you didn't mess with my car. Ooh. They broke rule number four. I'm gonna bust some ass now. You don't mess with Pepper Palmer's car. Oh, hell no! No, you ain't messing with Pepper Palmer's car! Oh, hell no! Well, I gotta tell you, I've never seen anything quite like this. Whoever wired this has a kill switch wherever you unhook it. Stereo, speakers, car battery. Man, can I just break the stereo or poke a hole in the speaker or something? Yeah, well, you could. But if you do, the trigger sets off a small series of explosions, fries the entire system. It's quite ingenious, actually. I'd have to have my master's degree in electrical engineering to understand even the depth of this system. It's not a bad song. Kind of catchy, actually. Pepper Palmer don't like being played. I don't like to be played. Oh, no. Nah. Pepper Palmer don't like to be played. here, if you don't mind. There you go. Thanks. Enjoy the show. Leah, wait. What, Jerome? I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen this way. You mean you didn't mean to get caught? No. Look, I know we only had one date, but I thought we had a good connection. Enough for a second date, don't you think? Jerome, you hired someone to lure me in so you and your friends could date my cousins. Don't you find that to be a little strange? Yeah, I know. I suck at dating. Kevin thought I needed help. And the only reason why we hired Pepper in the first place is because we thought we weren't black enough. What? What do you mean, not black enough? Well, we thought that because you grew up around more black people than we did, that you wouldn't like us unless we... Acted like some street thug who tries too hard? Is that what you think I'm into? We didn't know. We just wanted to be safe, cover our bases. I'm not asking about we. I'm asking about you. Is that what you think I'm into? I don't know. 
Like any decent woman, I just want a decent man. Someone who cares about me and holds me up high. Someone who cares about himself and those that he loves. Now, I don't care about what kind of car you drive or what music you listen to or what shoes you wear. And you thought that Peppa was the type of guy I go after? Well, you went out with him yesterday, didn't you? Kevin saw him flirting with you and holding your hand as you left out of here with What, him? did he say after and watch me after we spoke yesterday? Wow. Well, this just gets creepier by the second, doesn't it? No, look, it wasn't like that. He was about to leave and then he saw Pepper walk in. He was just watching. Pepper is just a friend. I don't know anyone in the city and he seemed like a nice guy so we hung out. But I told him that I was only interested in him as a friend. I made that very clear, he's not my type. Leah, I feel like an idiot. At least let me take you on a date for lunch or maybe a picnic. We can have a picnic. Are you gonna wear an earpiece again? Maybe. You guys are crazy, you know that. You're just now figuring that out? You know, in some strange way, I have to admit, it's flattering that you guys would go through all that trouble just to make sure one date with me would go well. <laughs> I must look good. <laughs> <laughs> you, man. You got a second chance. I may need some help on this one. You kidding me? This is all you, brother. I'm serious. Some advice, at least. You're the one who's good at this dating shit. Man, I suck at dating. Well, what are you talking about? Look how easy it was for you to talk to Leah when we first met her. And you've always seemed more confident with women. That's all I got, man. I mean, people think that just because I'm decent looking and I model that I can get all the girls in the world. When you got Leah on that first date, after you pulled that earpiece out, that was all you, man. You were just being yourself. That's all you gotta do, just be yourself. Yeah, what if she doesn't want that? Then someone will come along who will. Thanks, man. I couldn't do it without you, brother. <laughs> just get those cousins out here, my man. Just get those cousins out here. You two doing some donut punching? So. Where would you go if you could go anywhere? Like, anywhere in the world. For how long? Permanently. Permanently? Like I could never come back here? Yep, you could never come back here. California, or maybe Memphis. Memphis? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why Memphis? It's so dirty there. Memphis is where everything began and ended. Rhythm and blues, rock and roll, Elvis. <laughs> Martin Luther King, W.C. Handy, it's like the Mecca of America. You think? To me. What about you? If it had to be America, I'd say Chicago. Now, if it could be anywhere in the world, I'd say definitely Belize. Wait, wait, Chicago? Yeah. It's cold and segregated. It's in the middle of nowhere. Three things. Italian beef sandwiches, deep dish pizza, and the best baseball and football on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think it's so funny that you thought you weren't black enough to date me. What is that, a Utah thing? Well, as you can see, there aren't many black people around here. So I guess when we see someone black from out of town, it's fascinating or fearful for us. Most black people from out of town think we act too white, whatever that means. So then why do you stay here? Well, look around you. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. As a kid, I always wanted to leave it. But then one day I turned around and I never wanted to leave it. Sometimes you see something beautiful and it's hard to stay away from. So you're an actor? Yeah. Do you sing? A little bit. Well, then sing something for me. No way. Well, you can sing in front of crowds, but you can't sing in front of me. Well, that's different. How? Th that's just different. Just sing something. <sighs> Anything. I'd love to hear it. When I'm around you, my palms sweat. The heat of the sun 
like a sunset. I can't resist you with something I can't express. Like the moon, you push and pull me till we both confess. So, baby, let, let me in your cosmic, cosmic love. <laughs> Drowning in a sea of cosmic love. Unlock your heart to unlock mine, to transcend all space and time. I'll be yours, you'll be mine. So, baby, let me in your cosmic love. Wow. Yeah, wow, I didn't know you could sing. Well, there's a lot of things you don't know about me, Jerome. <laughs> well, ain't that the shit? <laughs> well, well, well. Over here, I send you out for eggs, get a little suspicious, and this is what I find. I'm, I'm sorry, do I know you? She doesn't look like eggs to me, Jerome. She doesn't look like fucking eggs. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Who the hell are you? Don't play stupid with me, you asshole. Wow, is this your little victim? Wow, yeah. Three women in one month. You know, that's a record for you. With all due respect. Let's see, so I've got a bag of heroin. I got herpes. Yeah, and now this. Do you know this woman, Jerome? I have never seen her before in my life. You don't know me? If you don't know me, how do I know Phil? How do I know Kevin? You know, honey, you might want to save yourself some trouble and stay away from him because it's all fun and games in the beginning. And then that. You're an asshole. Asshole. I have no idea. I've never seen that woman before in my life. Then how'd she know who your friends were? I don't know. This is turning out to be way more drama than what I want or need in my life I right now. Pepper! Pepper did this. He's behind all of this. That sneaky, crafty-ass motherfucker. Yeah, I'm... I gotta go. Wait, Leah, Leah, wait, wait! No. So you just want to kill him? I don't see any other way. I don't know, man. Usually I'll back you up with anything, but I just don't think I can shoot somebody, bro. I can't believe I'm the only voice of reason in this situation. Jerome, look what you're doing. Rob, are you gonna let him do this? Are you gonna let him use your guns? Uh, can't you see I'm watching something? Why are you bothering me? Can't you see that someone's about to use your guns to possibly murder someone? Well, yeah, I can see it. I don't care. Actually, Jerome, are you a good shot? I have no idea. Well, then by all means, kill away, okay? Now, Kevin, I need you to keep Jerome alive because that power bill last month was a bitch. And I'm not paying it alone. Look, you may not care, but I do. Look, I'm putting my foot down on this one. Jerome, there's gotta be a better way to deal with Pepper. Killing him's not the solution. The only language that Pepper Palmer understands is this language. So I say we run up on his ass, catch him off guard, and then- Did you just say Pepper Palmer? Yes. Why on earth would you want to hurt him? Because he's an egotistical maniac who's destroyed the shit out of everyone's lives in this room. How do you know him? He's Guatemalan, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Told you, brother. Yeah, we think he is. <laughs> I went to high school with him. He's from Cleveland, right? Yep. You want to kill him? He was one of the best students at our high school. Valedictorian, chess club, debate team, drama club. Straight A student. Wait. I didn't know you were from Ohio, babe. I thought you were from Utah. I am. Cleveland, Utah. Cleveland, whoa, Utah? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jerome, I thought you said he was from Ohio. Dated sisters. Look, first of all, I'm just shocked that there's a Cleveland, Utah. Second of all, I thought he was from Ohio too, man. Look, no guns, Jerome. I mean it. It's not worth it. You know what? You're right, Phil. He's from Cleveland, Utah. We'll just go kick his fucking ass. That's what I'm talking about. Oh wait, when you say kick his fucking ass, you mean you, like fighting him? Yeah, man, we're gonna fucking fight him. Like rolling around on the ground? Maybe, fight? yeah, mm, bushes. Yeah, gosh, that already sounds dirty. And you know, I just got the shirt today. What's wrong with your shirt? It, it's not gonna work in a fist fight, man. You're not gonna fight in that shirt with no, us? No, really? no, look, this, is a, this could get me gigs. This is a potential wow. gig getting shirt. Oh no, my God. here's what, we, let's just, 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 do you have another shirt around here laying around? Like yeah, a, like I think I've got another shirt. Okay, let's go do it. I'll go do the Superman thing. I'll change real quick. It's we'll gonna be, good. be fast. And out. Let's go fast real quick. Okay. See, look, we just gotta coordinate. Jesus Christ. Go put an apple on your head.
What the fuck did I tell y'all? Don't cross Peppa Palmer. Yeah, now ain't nobody gonna get the bitch. The bitch? Yeah, yeah, I said it, bitch. Now, go take this stupid ass song off my stereo before somebody gets their ass kicked. Man, fuck you. All right, give us our money back before your ass get stumped. You ain't so tough without your big ass friend, are you? Yeah, what happened to your friend? Somebody didn't pay his hotel bill. Would that somebody be you? Was I talking to you, Jiffy Peanut Butter? Now look at this clown. You come into my city, ruin my life, ruin any chance I got of getting this girl, take our money, and then got the nerve to talk some shit? Man, somebody better hold me back. I'm about to punch a hole in this fucking- Stop it, Jerome. Stop it. This isn't like you. Look what you become. What we've become. Like the girl is gone. There's no need fighting about it now. There's no spoils to gain. Look, fix his car. Pepper, give us back our money, and we can all be on our way. And I ain't gonna give you back shit. Only thing I'm gonna give you is the back of my motherfucking hand if somebody don't hop to my car and fix that goddamn radio. Hey, no. Fuck here. I was born in Buffett's raised in Dublin. Give us back our money, I'll kick your fucking ass so hard you'll wake up and watch stop Poland. Let me the fuck go. Get off of me. Clarence Philip Pepper Palmer II. Gloria, Beasterfield? You haven't changed a bit since high school. Still up to your old tricks? How's your mother Blanche? Sure, she'd be happy to hear her little Clarence is pretending to be a pimp to rob these poor Negroes of their money. We still call you Negroes in Cleveland. They haven't updated our textbook since 1961. Uh, Miss Beasterfield, can you please not tell my mother? Here's it... what we're gonna do. Jerome, whatever you did to his car, fix it. And Pepper, refund these boys all of their money. And since they can never regain the item they paid you to help them get, throw something extra in. Like what? I don't know. You boys seem to be clever with coming up with new ways to surprise each other. I'm sure you'll think of something. But let me make it clear what will happen if any of you decide to go back on this little deal we've made. I will commence to pick up the phone and dial every law enforcement friend I have and come up with a few surprises of my own if you catch my drift. Have a good night, gentlemen. Oh, and Jerome. Rob's ready for a Salisbury steak now. Did Pepper pay you the money? In cash, in an envelope. He gave it to Gloria and she gave it to me. And did he add anything extra? No. He told Gloria he would, though. I guess we'll just have to find out. Yeah. Hey, man. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Don't get all caught up on this one. I've never been more embarrassed in front of a woman before. I can't believe we made ourselves look so stupid. Yeah, we blew it on that one. <laughs> hey, look on the bright side of things. At least we never have to see her again, right? That's just it, man. Usually, I'd probably just walk away, especially after everything that's happened. But I just can't stop thinking about her. Am I being desperate? Maybe. How did you feel on those couple of dates? Oh, man. It was like I was at home for the first time in my entire life. It was like she understood everything I said and knew, and it just worked. I don't know how to explain it. It just, it just worked. And it feels wrong that I'm never gonna see her again. I don't know what to do. I'll admit it. I'm fresh out of ideas. Maybe I should just let her go. Get back to my normal life. When I was a kid, man, my mom used to love Elvis. She used to watch him all the time. Could tell you anything about him. I heard so much Elvis growing up, I thought that I'd hate the sight of his face when I got older. But I actually ended up loving him more than she did. Anyways, there was this one time we were watching this documentary about him. And they said at one point in his life, he actually wanted to be an electrician. I mean, he studied to be an electrician. After I saw that, I always wondered what the world would have missed if he'd have become an electrician. What he would have missed if he didn't just go for it.
Sophia, I know you must think I'm crazy. A little weird and obsessive, maybe? Not sure about crazy yet. I'm sure he'll be here any moment. Pepper left. He's the one who sent that woman to ambush her. I don't care anymore. I'm not looking to date anyone right now. I mean, you're a cute guy, and I'm sure you can find some other girl. It's a big city. We went out twice. God, you would think that we were engaged I'm not something. asking you out, OK? I'm not asking you to marry me. I'm just asking you to forgive me. I feel like a moron. And I'm sorry that you had to go through this. I'm sorry that this happened to you. I'm sorry that I ruined something that could have been. I'm sorry. Stop. Of course I forgive you. I mean, I had a feeling that Pepper was behind all the crap that's been going on recently. So I'm not mad at you. I've really enjoyed the times that we spent together. I just don't know. I'm not a strange guy. I know. But I'm really not looking to date anyone right now. I mean, it doesn't mean I don't like you. It's just, I'm not ready for something serious right now. I thought I was, but I'm not. I mean, maybe in the future, just not right now. And that's fine. That's fine. I just like hanging out with you. Even if we're just friends. I like hanging around you too. <laughs> so you decided not to be an electrician after all, huh? <laughs> it's a long story. Hello, gentlemen. What's up, up, man? No hard feelings, huh, fellas? Leah, it's good to see you again. And it's good to see you with these, these wonderful men. Let me just apologize for any inconvenience that I might have caused you. As for you two, Gloria asked that I throw in a little added bonus. Well, I'm a man of my word. And as much as it pains me to get rid of my most prized possessions, Maybe it's time for me to make a change, too. <laughs> Good luck, gentlemen. Good luck. <laughs> See? In the end, everything works out. What the fuck does that have to do with my Salisbury steak? Walk up to the hill and I'm thinking you don't both got anything. How you finna get a girl to date your ass? What the fuck are you talking about? It's on the eyes, man. You gotta get misty in their eyes. You gotta, you gotta draw them in. You gotta pull them in. All right, Mr. Soaps. Apparently, you ain't spent a minute in Utah. I'm the one with the book, motherfucker, okay? I'm the one hung with Richard Pryor for 25 years. You or Jack welcome back, how to look at motherfucker with that chain. Dance, dance, dance. I'm gonna show you the smolder, all right? I wanna dance, dance. Oh, yeah, see, you just getting a little bit wet between the legs right there. What you squash up? It, it's not about being in control, man. It's not really what it's about. You, you want to keep a woman with you. You want to keep a woman next to you, not behind you. Let's well, see, the pepper pommel way gets you right up to about 95%. You see what I'm saying? Uh, there's 41 steps on everything you need to know about Cunnilingus. They got this basketball team here called the Utah Jazz. Well, I'm finna go tell them brothers how they gonna find some black women's up here in Utah. Well, I, I, I like the accentuation. That, that, that makes the woman feel better. And then you know what? She makes you feel better. You ever heard a five minute ad? Nope. People don't want 41 steps, huh? They want five. One, two, three, four, five. I give you five. These people can't remember that much. And the ladies, they want it simple, in and out, literally. I kiss you till you burn my fingers. I kiss you till you burn my fingers. I kiss you till you burn my fingers. I kiss you till you burn my fingers.